This video is gonna be a comprehensive review of the video recording capabilities of the iPhone 8 Plus versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. As a YouTuber, the video quality on my phone is one of the most important things to me, so that's the only thing I'm gonna be looking at in this video. Nothing else except for what these things are capable of when shooting video. I built this here rig to record video on. That way the iPhone and the Galaxy are both recording the same image at the same time. The lenses are as close together as possible, enabling me to cut from one to the other. So for the rest of the video, starting right now, every shot will be captured on one of these two phones, enabling me to compare and contrast the image from one to the other. Now, in an effort to be as transparent as possible, I do want to state that I work with Samsung. Therefore, this is less of a review and more of a side-by-side -side comparison. I will not be issuing an opinion here. I just want to show you what both of these phones are capable of. Okay. And now, a very brief studio tour using the respective cameras. So this is my camera collection back here. These are all the cameras I regularly shoot with, but I hope that this busy room can show you some of the differences when looking at the textures captured on the iPhone versus the textures captured on the Note. Dan Lupo. Hello. Here's a good opportunity to see the skin color differences on the iPhone versus the Note 8. The iPhone here appears to be like a little bit more neutral and a little bit more dim than the Note 8, which offers a kind of, uh, it feels a little bright here. on either of these. This outdoor skateboard test is a very good test of the optical image stabilization which both of these phones have, which should yield a buttery smooth image when you have little movements like on a skateboard. I'm just clicking the record button and then leaving them alone. So this is really a stripped down raw video test. Now one of the things that I'm particularly excited about with these phones is that both of them have two lenses on the back. Like a narrow lens and then a wide angle lens. So Lady Liberty, that is the Statue of Liberty, she's right there. 
I'm now going to test looking at Lady Livery. Lady. generic beautiful yellow flower test this test really shows how much warmer that is like yellowier the iphone image is versus the note image i think samsung tends to be slightly more cool and iphone tends to be slightly more warm this is the purple flower test meant to show off how the note has a cooler bluer image versus the warm image on the iPhone. Also, this is a great way to check out the dynamic range. These flowers are really bright. These are in shade. These shouldn't be blown out. They shouldn't look white. They should still be purple. These shouldn't be black. They shouldn't be dark. They should still be purple. This, this will be the slow motion test. Alright, that just about concludes my test. One detail that I didn't capture in that camera test is the iPhone has 256 gigs of internal storage, which is definitely a lot, it's enough. The Samsung though has removable storage, so I don't have a micro SD card laying around. But that means it uses the same SD card as like a GoPro or a lot of other cameras. I prefer that, but again, this is an unbiased sort of sampling. Just wanted to share that detail with you. The other thing I needed to say is that this side-by-side -side technique is something I stole from my friend SuperSap. He's a much better tech reviewer than me. I will link him in the description below. Dude, what about me? I'm right in here, man. I'll also link Sam below. He contributed to this video. Zero. Zero.